Hey guys, so today we are doing how to ship cremated remains. If you want to send them to anybody and there's only one way to send them, you cannot do FedEx, you cannot do any other means except for Priority Mail Express through the USPS. So you order one of these. This is the kit you get to ship cremated remains. If you're a funeral home, you can get online, you can order multiple of these to be shipped so that you have a back stock of them. If you personally want to ship someone, you can go to the post office and get one of these boxes. So, what is in here? First and foremost, your box. It says very clearly, U.S. Post Office, Priority Mail Express, cremated remains. It says it multiple multiple times over this box. Next. It comes with packaging tape that says Priority Mail Express. So you get yourself one of these, load it up with your tape, each box comes with a full tape roll of this. So you're gonna have multiple of these around the funeral home. The reason you need so much, I mean, you're not gonna use this whole for one, is that they want you to seal up every crease on this. None of them can be exposed. Each side shows you flap one, flap two, Flap three, flap four. So it shows you which I'm gonna fold one, two, fold two in, fold three in, fold four in. So that way this is on the outside. So here for now. And then you have to tape up every crease of this. So that it's covered. Now, why do they want you to do that? Pretty simple. If that box inside opens, they don't want any of the cremated remains possibly spilling out. So you need to seal it up as tight as possible. If you're in a pinch, they do have stickers that say cremated remains on them that you can put on a regular priority box as long as you mail it at Priority Mail Express. It does meet the requirements. So even on this box, they have a seal here that's already there. Tape it up. Tape that one up too. They want every single one taped in case that box breaches. It contains the deceased cremated remains as much as possible. So then after you get your base box all set, and yes, it's only a certain size. If your urn is beyond the size, you're gonna have to get a larger priority box. For this example, I'm gonna show you, this is a temporary, temporary box for cremated remains. It is empty. I don't even show cremated remains on the channel as you guys know, usually. So in here, they want the cremated remains to be inside a very thick plastic bag, like this, very thick. It's not just a thin garbage bag or anything. These are very durable bags. Then this is gonna be sealed with a zip tie, not a regular, little, you know, bread bag tie. And that'll be inside of here. On the outside of here will be a label that says the person's name, the crematory, where they came from, where they're going. There also is going to be an envelope that has the cremation certificate on it. That is your burial permit, essentially, for when the person needs to be buried at a cemetery. So if you're shipping them to someone for them to bury them at a cemetery, that certificate has to be given to the cemetery on the other end, on the receiving end. So then you're gonna take this, you're gonna put as much bubble wrap as possible. I'm not using near enough for this example. 
but just to show you, you're gonna put as much bubble wrap as possible to package that person in there. Now, sometimes if you're mailing them, they're gonna ask you to also mail um, their jewelry, their personal effects, maybe some death certificates, whatever they ask you to put in there. If you're transferring to a funeral home, if you're transferring to a family, you can package it all in there. That is fine. Just make sure that on the receiving end, you have some sort of verification that they've received those things. So then you're gonna use a Priority Mail Express label. This is not specific for cremated remains. You're gonna put your funeral home name, your phone number. Phone numbers are important in case they have any questions. Then the receiving end phone number address. This is important in case they need to call the person for delivery. You cannot do a PO box. It must be an actual address. You can also mark that there is no Saturday delivery or Sunday holiday delivery required, depending on you know, when that person needs to be there because you do want a signature when this is re delivered. You don't want to leave this on a doorstep. Make sure you get a signature. This has tracking and everything. So you're going to peel this. Once you've filled this out, peel it, put it on, take it to the post office. I would say I'm in Michigan and typically if we send anywhere in the United States, if we send that type of cremated remain box, it's usually between like 80 to 120 dollars it depends how far it's going and how much it weighs so if you put a very heavy urn in there obviously that price is going to go up so they may want to purchase an urn on their end to lower shipping costs totally up to them but one more time here is the shipping label so then you would finish sealing this up i'm not going to do this one because we want to use this at some point finish it and you're going to go around every single crease again prior to shipping. Take it to the post office, ship them off, send that tracking label to either the funeral home you're sending to or to the family so they can track their loved one as they are en route to them. Any questions on this? Post them below in comments. Hopefully you guys learned something.